So the rationale is the following. In the pathogenesis of multiple sclerosis, there are a number of uh, cells very much important. One of the, some of them are B cells, um, but the other are innate immune cells. So um, BDK, mole, BDK inhibitors are the only molecules who, which affect not only B or T cells, B cells in this case, but also innate immune cells. That's why uh, that's the rationale for using BDK inhibitors. This is the first time that uh, BDK inhibitor has been tried in multiple sclerosis. And this is a phase two trial on relapsing remitting MS. That was a typical dose response trial. Uh, three uh, three uh, arms with ibuprutinib, one placebo arm, and one control arm with dimethylfumarate. It was a six, uh, 24 weeks uh, trial with a primary endpoint being the, the cumulative number of gallonin enhanced lesions. And then uh, what we found was a positive effect of the uh, 75 milligrams dose once per day or twice per day on the primary endpoint. Just uh, to summarize very much the main result of the trial. You know, it's the mechanism of action. I think this is the, the, the real noble issue of ibuprutinib, uh, and also the potential that probably uh, you, you can understand of um, affecting the progressive phase of the disease. The, inna the innate immune cells are very much involved in the progression of uh, multiple sclerosis. This is the, uh, the mechanism that we are still fighting against that. We're not good at all uh, at this, and ibuprutinib uh, could, could play a role in the progressive phase of multiple sclerosis. So uh, we don't know, that's it. the right answer is that we, we don't know. Uh, what we have uh, demonstrated is an effect on gadolinium enhancing lesions and also on annualized relapse rate. But if we look to the mechanism of action of ibuprutinib, we can speculate that um, affecting the innate immune cells within the CNS could have a benefit potential for the treatment of progressive MS. We need trials to uh, demonstrate that.